Now, why do we study history? Pure and simple, we try to learn from the mistakes of the past so that we don't repeat them in the future. And what is the only thing we learn from history? The only thing we learn from history is that no one ever learns anything from history. Let's think of an example. Now, you've all heard of the 100 Years' War between England and France. Well, near the start of the 100 Years' War, about seven years in, there was a battle at a place called Cressy, where a small English army defeated a much bigger French army. What was the weapon that won it for them? The English longbow. Very powerful weapon, which is why you start training at the age of six. Now, an English bowman can fire 12 arrows a minute. That's double the rate of the French crossbow. An English bowman can kill a man at 100 yards, seriously injure him at 250 yards. That's way beyond the range of the French crossbow. So the French never got near the English in that battle, and they lost. Now, nearly 70 years later, still in the 100 Years' War, there was another battle at a place called Agincourt, where a small English and Welsh army defeated a French army five times their size, and what was the weapon that won it for them? The English longbow. So you see, in 70 years of history, the French didn't learn that you don't use a crossbow against an English longbow in an open field battle because you will lose. Now, those two battles took place in the 100 Years' War, which lasted how long? Yes? 